Hi, and welcome back to Festival TV. I'm here with Jeff Rundell and Adam Duff from Beta Theta Pi Fraternity. Well, thank you so much for being with us today. Jeff, why don't you tell me a little bit about what Beta is doing as community outreach during the festival? Well, Beta Theta Pi is actually just in the process of reopening our chapter here at Penn State. And one of our founding values is a commitment to community. And so we felt that during this first summer of our reestablishment, it would be a great opportunity for us to welcome some of the artists from the boroughs area to a picnic during the Saturday portion of the Arts Fest as a way for us to introduce them to our new men and an opportunity for the artists to really see that something positive can come from a group of men working together, living together in a fraternal uh, context. Adam, as Beta alum as well as a Arts Festival board member, what do you hope to accomplish during this, this partnership? I think what we're hoping to accomplish is just to, to establish a really good relationship between the artists that are on Burrow Street and the brothers of Beta Theta Pi. Um, as an alum, you know, I think it's a great opportunity to get you know, the, the local active chapter members involved, but then also to have some of the alum from Beta come back and see that the chapter is doing some very positive things with the community. and. Um, all in all, I think we're just, you know, we're looking for just to have a really good day, invite people to the house, get to, you know, show them the structure, show them how great the house is, and then, you know, let them get something to eat and, you know, just enjoy, you know, the atmosphere of, of Arts Fest in the middle of the summer in State College in Penn State. Sadly, fraternity men have a, a bit of a reputation. Do you think that this Beta Arts Festival partnership will help overcome kind of that stigma that's come with fraternity men in the Penn State area? We definitely believe that this could be a positive first step. As Beta has returned this year, there have been a lot of eyes on us from the fraternal community, from the university, from the local community, because we have said from the very beginning that we wanted to be a very balanced experience that focused on academics, that focused on surface, and, and that had a social aspect as well. But I think that this is an opportunity to really put that intent into to action and show everybody that we are committed not just to raising money for THON, I'm not saying that, that that's not a very worthy endeavor, but to also reaching out and being a valued member in, in the community and getting to actually know some of the people that we live in and work around every day. The house, from, a, from an alum standpoint, someone who's been to Beta many, many times as an undergrad, the house looks phenomenal. Is there anything else that you hope to do um, beyond the Arts Festival to show off all the progress that has been made and the example that Beta is setting? We're actually in the process. We will be hosting a welcome week event with the Shriers Honors College. So their initial barbecue is going to be here in August. Uh, throughout the course of the year, we open the house up to different academic groups, to different student groups. Uh, actually, the Office of Fraternity and Sorority Life and, and Student Affairs will be hosting an event here later in the summer. And so we want to continue to develop positive partnerships with the university and with the community. And we realize we have a tremendous gift here. To be able to share that with everybody else is, is something we're blessed to be able to do. Well, Jeff and Adam, thank you so much. Uh, we really appreciate the outreach that you are planning for festival, and we hope that it goes absolutely swimmingly. Thank you.